2020 has been a roller coaster of a year. And if you've been following my channel for long enough, you know that it's time for another Jake Cub Rewind 2020 Year in Review video. Back in January, which seems like way more than a year ago at this point, Winter Wonderland Season 2, a one-time recorded round, gone two-time recorded round. Gone three-time recorded round now, apparently. My first R of the year, and perhaps one of the most interesting that I have ever played and edited. See right here. Yeah. Oh, for Christ's sake, the gay guy sees me. I gained the apples running. Get away from me! Who's the gay Leave guy? Leave me alone! I can't touch you. This is so Who's bad. the gay guy in this recorded round? I've never done that before. You've never... It's a little gay card, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> God, that's that's why they have it, like... Apparently, in Bhutan, it's like... The penis is like a symbol of worshipping of the Buddha. <laughs> in other words, Buddhists are gay. Just remember, everyone, that Japan has a literal penis festival. I love America. Don't worry, they're all- Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Shoutouts to my boys, Carter, Gus, and Quill for making that one of the most fun recorded rounds I have ever played, and it let me do some fun, unique editing. I'd say it was received pretty darn well, but not something that I could replicate pretty easily. It needs the right people to be effective, and it's super time-consuming doing all the subtitling and funny imaging and stuff. But it was a fun experiment. Following that came Back in Time, the Vietnam season, the unfortunately final season. Seems like so long ago considering it was recorded way back in summer 2019, but the wait was worth it as it was really action packed from start to finish, making the true zero to hero journey to meet up where all hell breaks loose. Going from only one teammate remaining as episode 5 finally finding coolest, making it close to the end was just an insane experience. But not nearly as wild as fucking Winter Wonderland, like Jesus Christ, that shit was actually just on another fucking plane of existence. In the wake of those two rounds uploading, I was working on one of my biggest DHC projects in a while. Not quite to the same level as my Stabbing in the Dark montage last year, uh, but after around two weeks and 20 hours of work, I had finished my first recorded round montage in years, Alone to the End Season 20. It challenged my storytelling abilities on how to create a compelling narrative with so many perspectives, and a few missing perspectives, too. But I think I succeeded! Knowing how pivotal my perspective was to the whole thing helped a lot, actually. Uh, but it was still a big undertaking, for sure. One that I'm not sure I'm gonna do again, in all honesty, but it was well worth the experience. And by the end of the year, it broke a thousand views, too. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. I also tried out Randomizer UHC once, and only once, and I just so happened to have won that fateful morning. My quickbait sensors were tingling when that happened, like, I was just imagining Photoshop, like, holy shit, I won my first randomizer UHC, HERE COMES THE VIEWS! Glad that trend died out, but it was fun that once, and only once. Anyways, moving on, there's a common theme here that this year was dominated by a recorded round for me. That doesn't stop, at least yet, because Pathfinder Season 12 came out, and ended up being the only RR that I won in 2020. Uh, 2019. It was played last year, but it was a chaotic but really fun season for sure. From that point on, I started walking down a different path, you could say. <laughs> Get it? Because Pathfinder path. <laughs> I began to look at UHC content more experimentally. I tried making a scripted tutorial on how to make a UHC recorded round montage because I felt my experience in making the TT20 montage would be helpful for others interested in making them. I tried out doing a funny meme style edit in Pathfinder 12.5, but Cory in the house path. Uh, not the most serious UHC video. Is it even UHC in all honesty? But it was something different, and it was fun. I also tried out doing longer form videos in the vein of my UHC but the surfaces at Y32 video. And overall, I'd say all of which were successful. I was satisfied. It was around that time that COVID broke out, and my good old pal, Joey, started up a private 1.12 UHC group in the newer versions with the new combat. And it took my interest really fast, actually. It was a nice change of pace from the public meta. Vanilla-esque games brought me back to my roots, so to say. I was playing those games more consistently than I hadn't played UHC in months. And not to mention, I just so happened to win my first two games in the group, and did really well in a few others right around the time when the group started, so I had plenty of footage to work with and experiment with different styles. I did a few normal highlights, which are always fun, especially since I don't get to make them so often. But I also experimented, as I hinted earlier, in the vein of my longer form videos, 
I felt that the slower pace suited the style more than the high intensity editing when combat is, uh, I mean, it's, it's not that bad. It, it's, it can be intense sometimes, but it's, it's just not the same. Okay. It, it, it's just not the same. Okay. Moving on. I kept playing them through the summer and that's when one certain game happened on a random summer night. What the? Jake. Ow. 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 Well, don't die. Okay. <laughs> Jake. Is that one and a half? Jake, just sit in a hole, alright? I'll get gold for you. We'll feed you gold enough. You've, you've Wait, taken 20 times the amount of damage of yeah. the rest of the team. The fall of King Jake Cub. That's me, by the way. It was a really crazy story to be the king in a game. Uh, classic Jacob Melee, by the way. And then just to go down to two hearts of health so fast. It's just an incredible story. It was such an incredible game that inspired my motivation and is even the driving force behind this new style of a year in review video. UHC Stories. Taking a game of UHC and giving it a story, giving it a narrative. I had so much fun in my TT20 montage trying to craft a narrative, so why not try it with another game? This King's game was a perfect fit for the new style, and I felt great about it. I made a few more of them throughout the year and even dug up games from years ago to make more of this style. But unfortunately, even my motivation for that died down as my uh, college laptop made editing more than just a struggle. It was painful. Amongst all of that creativity that I was exploring, my recorded rounds were doing better than ever, consistently hitting upwards of 100 views throughout the summer on even the more boring episodes. I can't figure out why people enjoy these episodes where nothing really happens, but I can't complain if people enjoy it! Continuing from 2019, I was enjoying RRs more than ever. I tried my first live stream draft, Out of Orbit, the live transmission. That fad died as quick as it rose to the top, I feel, but I enjoyed the one experience I had. The crew was a fun time. And, uh, also, this happened. Yeah. I'm purling away. That's the fight. Oh. Someone oh, purled right here! Boat. Oh! What the? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I what?! I was hoping to do more of them, but as I said, they died really goddamn fast. Stepping back a bit. From Abstraction Season 7 earlier this year to Vision, and may maybe except for that one, just, just unlucky really. I enjoyed almost every typical RR that I played this year, and that is exemplified by none other than my 100th recorded round. Pathfinder UHC Season 13. What a milestone. What a memory, man. To just have all of this happen in my 100th recorded round? Double digit kills in a recorded round? Almost unthinkable. Like, maybe not the most fun recorded round I've ever played, but by far the most insane and one of the most memorable. On par with Desire Season 4 from years ago, which I had previously regarded as my crowning moment of UHC recorded rounds. Let me know what you guys think is my best recorded round moment ever, I'd be curious actually. And even though winning would have been absolutely unbelievable, my tragic downfall was almost even more unbelievable. It should be obvious I love me a good narrative story at this point, and my helmet breaking as my ego was sky high to send me to my grave is... I can't ask for a more perfect finish. If I wasn't gonna win that season, I'm glad that that's how it ended. To round out the year, I uploaded a few more recorded rounds, and similar to last year, I rejoined some rounds for a celebratory season. Evolution for a 20th anniversary season, and I even managed to get a kill. No longer 1 to 9 KDR, let's fucking go. And I also came back for the finale reunion season of Heroes in Battle, another round that I had historically bad luck in. Frick, the trap didn't work, trap didn't work, I died. Frick! The trap didn't work! And, well, I guess some things never change. But at least I enjoyed myself there, too. And to all of you who have been asking me to join Phobia for months, if not years, that finally happened, too. Hope I made my debut season there enjoyable to watch, even if I did throw the game a bit by having an awesome fight with Americ, draining both of our healings, so neither of us would have a chance in the final fight, so we were probably not going to win anyways. But fun is more important than winning, if you ask me, and that's exactly what I did. So no regrets here. Anyways, last year I said that- wait, wait, you didn't think I would forget about my intros, right? They're like some of my most viewed videos on my channel. I made a lot of really cool intros this year. Legacy, Alpha Beatrum, X-Files. Not my all-time favorites, but still some really solid intros in my opinion. Highlight of the year for me though is absolutely Survivor UHC Season 4 RIP, as arguably my favorite intro that I've ever made. Everything came out so nice. Honorable mention to Evo Season 20, as that was really fun to make too. 
but something about Survivor Season 4 just hits different to me. My motivation for interest has taken a dip in the last few months of the year. I've made so many over the years, and my creative direction is taking a new turn. I'm not going to say that I'm retiring from intros. I'll probably make at least one more eventually next year at some point. But with where I stand right now, I'm satisfied with my work on them. Anyways, last year I said that I wanted to make the best content I've ever made. And I think, well, editing this review video, I think it's fair to say that I succeeded. I took many different turns, I tried many different things, from public games on UHC.gg to Joey's private 1.12 games for a few months, from typical UHC highlights synced to music to my experimental UHC story series. I can't promise anything specific for 2021, but I can look back on 2020 positively. And I hope that amongst all of the chaos of this past year, that I was able to provide even just a little enjoyment for some people, for you guys that are watching. That's all I want to do with my videos. I I want to make an impact on people. I want to inspire them. I want to make them feel something. I, I really appreciate all of you guys watching my content in whatever form, truly. Thank you. And with that, see you next year.